Thank you for joining us. My name is Beverly Abel, and I'm with the Economic Development Department with the City of Mesquite. Throughout the COVID-19 crisis and during business shutdowns and as we recover, we've been concentrating on providing a roadmap to resources for business owners and for job seekers. We're here today with Glenn Bradley, and he's the founder of Big Hit Creative Group. Welcome, Glenn. Thank you, Beverly. It's good to be here. So tell us about Big Hit Creative and what you do for your customers. Big Hit Creative is an integrated marketing agency. We provide web services, creative services, search engine optimization, social media marketing, and promotional um, marketing collateral to our clients. The term e-commerce is tossed around a lot these days. What exactly is e-commerce and how important is it for small businesses? A brief definition of e-commerce is the practice of buying and selling online. You know, a purchase uh, or, or, or shopping online and then making it easy for a customer to buy. Whether it's on Facebook Live, whether it's on your social media platform, whether it's direct from your website. You should always have an easy purchasing process, right? They can find you online, they can buy it from your website, and there's an easy payment gateway. So with the recent temporary shutdown of bricks and mortar locations and, and businesses during COVID-19, what did that teach us about the importance of e-commerce? It left a lot of business owners scrambling to pivot to a digital, um, to a digital platform. So I, I feel like what it taught us is to, to definitely have a contingency plan in place. Not just a plan A, but a plan B, a plan C. And it, it taught us to listen, to start to kind of listen to the future, you know, kind of be ahead of the curve. What are the experts saying now? You know, um, don't fight so hard to do things the old way or to stay doing the things that, uh, that you've always done, you know, business as usual. Well, that really does lead me to my next question. Is, that is, if there's someone out there who knows they need to do better with e-commerce, but they've never dipped that toe in the water, where do you get started? What do you need to consider? The first thing that I would recommend is to have a strong social media presence. Start there. I mean, it's free. You can create a social media uh, account, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, sometimes Twitter, it depends on the, uh, your audience. You have to have great customer service. Remember that the customer, they have a choice. They're gonna choose who they wanna buy, so no matter what technology you use, you really need to focus on customer service. Once that's out of the way, you definitely have to have a professionally designed website. If you don't have a budget to create a professionally designed website yet, there are many free resources out there that you can use, such as a Wix, but by all means, at some stage have a professionally designed website. Well, and I know a lot of us as human beings and as small businesses say, I'm gonna get to that someday. And it seems that the small businesses that got to that, uh, whether it was a social media presence or a good website, seem to have fared better. What are some of the innovative things you've seen that happened during the shutdowns? Oh, well, I, I tell you, you've seen uh, a lot of companies make the shift. Some of them were prepared, you know, Facebook Lives, doing so, you know, in increasing the engagement on their social media platforms. Even just being able to sell gift cards online, uh, that you can buy now and use later. Uh, that's all part of e-commerce too, isn't it? If you can find a way to package your product and sell it a different way, the possibilities are endless. I know when, once you start getting involved in websites and such, you, you hear about SEO a lot. And I think, as you mentioned, leaving some things to the professionals, I think SEO is one of those things that's a mystery to a lot of people. Can you explain what that is? Well, the evolution of SEO or search engine optimization has changed so many, so many times in so many different ways. It's no longer just having the right keywords and it's not just having a good blog or an article, but there's so many different dynamics that you have to factor in. Right now, the big thing is voice search. We want to make sure that you get found because um, while while people are searching, they're searching at an easier rate. You know, it's like, hey Siri, Where's the nearest McDonald's? You wanna make sure that you're giving structured data to all the, the data endpoint, you know, like all the directories and, and so forth. So it's really about knowing your target market and how to speak to them and what they wanna know. Of course, Got and, it. and deliver, you, Got do, it. you have to deliver it. There's that little point, huh? Of course. <laughs> yeah, that one point. <laughs> and, and finally, for small business owners who are sort of out there in e-commerce and they have a bit of a digital presence, how do they take their digital presence to the next level? 
Well, I would recommend that you get control of your digital knowledge. Make sure that your, your information shows up accurately where your clients are going to be looking for you or where your customers are going to be searching for you. Um, multiple directories like on Google, Yelp, Bing, um, Yahoo, Foursquare. Everywhere that your customer could possibly look for you, make sure that, um, that your data is correct. What are your hours of operation? Are you operating right now? Are you delivering? Is there takeout? You know, what, what all the information is that your clients are going to be looking for relies on you giving that structured, accurate data to that, to that, um, that endpoint. We usually handle this for our clients, so we make sure that we deliver structured data to your potential clients. Um, but if, um, if, again, if you don't have a, uh, a budget to hire a professional, then make sure that you put the time in to, 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 to do that. And being mobile ready is always a big deal. Google has moved from just your website being the, um, the end all be all source of information. Right now, there's so many different directories and sources like Waze or, or MapQuest or City Search. There's so many different um, uh, data endpoints that speak to your customer. Your customers are searching in a different place. They don't just go to your website. They go looking for the service. So voice search is definitely, kind of, it's actually here now. So it's very important. Thank you so much for sharing your knowledge. You're always willing to help out. Big Hit's been part of our uh, uh, Entrepreneur's Day event and so many other community events through the city and the chamber. So thank you for your involvement and your expertise. Thank you so much for having me here. I really appreciate it. As you know, we have a continuing series of videos through our Roadmap to Resources website, which is just that, roadmaptoresources.com. See the videos we've recorded in this series. Check out the links to information on everything from opening protocols to best practices for businesses. And sign up for our electronic newsletter that we send out on a regular basis with the latest information about this recovery phase for our businesses and job seekers. Thanks so much for joining us.